going on? I want to show you some acoustic stuff designed for a beginner. Um, kind of more in the rock vein, actually, uh, but with an acoustic guitar, just to show you that, you know, you can, you know, play more of a rock. Uh, they're actually called power chords, more of a rock power chord kind of thing, but with an acoustic guitar. And, you know, it, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's good to play both, I think, but um, typically it tends to be what people just, you know, what sound they like more. But you can rock on acoustic, so that's all I want to say. Anyway, we're going to play a kind of familiar sounding uh, little progression, um, but it's great practice. It's great for your hands if you're a beginner, and uh, it also has a cool sound to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to play what's uh, what are called power chords, and I'm going to put uh, my first finger, I'm going to use the very tip of it on the fifth fret, of the guitar, straight down there. But then I'm going to use my ring finger, the tip of it, on the seventh fret of the second string down, which is called the A string. And those are the only notes I want, actually, and that's what a power chord is. Just like that. Now, most people, when they learn that, you'll hear this. Because they're strumming all these open strings. What I do, and I do, if you're you know, a super beginner, I don't want you to worry about it yet, but um, with my first finger, the rest of my finger here is actually muting the other strings. In other words, it's, it's not pressing all the way down. It's just touching them enough to go like this. So you don't hear it. I'm still just aiming for the top strings, like that. It's going to take some pressure from your hand too, so you, you know, if this is too hard for you right now, you could just start with just the first finger of it, get comfortable with it, and then add the ring finger of the power chord, like that, all right? So let's get down to it. We're going to start with a da da on the fifth fret, like this. That's it. Listen again. Just down, down. Okay, then we're going to go to the third fret with that same chord shape, down, down. So here's what we have. Then I'm going to go a half step down from there, which means just to the second fret. So here's what we have. The fifth fret, the third fret, the second fret. Then we're going to go to the first fret power chord, and we're going to hit that twice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my ring finger, since it's already planted on the third fret here of the A string, the second string. I'm just going to slide that down a half step to the second fret, and then strum the open top string here and the second string, like that. And so that F power chord, which is on the first fret, the first fret power chord, and the, when it goes open, those are there's no break in between them. It goes like this. So the whole thing sounds like this. Yeah, all right, so that's a fun little thing. Uh, let's do this. Well, you can do it that way, and then another way to let some of the chords ring out a little bit, we can do something like this. Uh, uh, we'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five on the first chord, and that fifth strum, let it ring out like this. Then we're going to do the same thing with that second chord. And then the same with the next chord, the second fret one. And then with the last two, we're going to go one, two, three, four, 
open one, one, two, three, four, so like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So here's the, that bit, a little bit slower. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. see the exact same chords in the same movement if you change the way you strum them now you have two different parts without having to learn um, anything too hard you know two different ways to play that same little progression so that's you know something to think about too that you can do um, to come up with new parts or new ideas to change the rhythm or hold one of the chords longer and one of the other chords shorter I mean there's all kinds of tricks out there but um, you know the beginners out there just Stay tough, hang tight, um, you know, just work at it in little doses. And, uh, you know, I do have these beginner DVDs. You can check those out on link to the right <laughs> if you're curious. Um, and I've got plenty more videos coming your way, too. So no need to worry. All right. Thanks a lot.